Now we're going to show you how to hide a patient file from viewing by any one or more of the users in your practice. To do this you must be logged in as the administrator. If you look on the bottom right hand side of the screen you can see that I am logged in as administrator into this patient file. You have to log into the patient file and if you are logged in as administrator and you click on the menu item HCR, you will have an option available only to the administrator of manage HCR access. If you click on this menu item, you will get a list of all your users. If you click on one or more of these users, you will lock this patient file from viewing by this particular doctor. Click OK and that's it done. If I now log out of Health One and log back in as the user in question, that is Rory, and I open, try to open the patient file that has been locked, I will get a warning. You are not allowed to open this patient file. Every other user can. So you have no access to this patient file. However, if this patient has an appointment and you are, say, the receptionist and you have been blocked from opening this patient file, you can still manage the patient's billing over here in the right. So you can pay off a bill as the patient comes out from the doctor or manage his billing stuff. Likewise, you can edit the administrative part of the file not by double clicking on it, but by right clicking on the patient file and clicking on edit administrative data. This is a new function in Health One, which is only recently available with the latest versions. And when you click on that, you have a new way of entering administrative data, which is the subject of a different video. So here I have all this patient's administrative file and I can edit whatever I like in it including his administrative stuff here, such as his GMS number, his review date. I can check out online whether the, he has a valid number or not. I can go to the other tabs and enter other data into the administrative file and click OK and it will be done. However, if I try and open the patient file, I will not be allowed in. And that's how to stop one or more users from having any access to one individual patient file.